if somebody for some strange reason didn't know much about Brad Armstrong, the nerd. where would you what movie should they start with maybe? I think I think probably the the easiest way to do that is go to like Xbiz or AVN and look up nominations. Mm-hmm. And like uh, most of my movies, are, Brad, you have so many. How is anybody going to wade through all of those? If you really want the quality <laughs> stuff, I mean, there's you know, uh, last year was uh, Lost Love was mm-hmm. a good movie. Uh, the year before that, uh, Inconvenient Mistress. Mm-hmm. Um, there's been in a little older ones is Coming Home. Um, I remember like the big party that you had for coming home. Coming home was a. a you guys had a dunk tank, right? I, because I dunked I, Luke I, Ford in it. I rocked the dunk tank as well in a, a, a female uh, uh, army chick's outfit. I had a little bra and panties and my boxers and Why my boots. Why do I boots. not remember that? Uh, look, I just remember look, dunking look, Luke because I was so happy about the if, fact if, that I did that. If you Google Brad Armstrong, <laughs> that picture pops up. Almost all the time. What is like one of the top first ones? Yeah, so it's, you can't you can't fix the internet once you got a bad picture up there, man. You <laughs> never live it down. But yeah, coming home was a, a really uh, a movie that I'm really proud of. Uh, that's that's one of the things I like doing is taking um, uh, controversial topics and trying and handle them in a in a respectful way while still making it. Uh, uh, an erotic thriller. I was going to ask I mean? you about that because you do tackle you do tackle some really like yeah. serious issues. In uh, uh, in aftermath, it was about nine eleven, mm-hmm. and one of the guys kind of a, a looking back at his life until the day he basically he's in his office and we see through his glasses the uh, the plane coming towards him. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've done coming home, which is uh, about the uh, veterans coming home and how their life changes. Um, Falling from Grace was uh, about a young priest who struggled with uh, an ex-lover who came back into his life and his calling versus uh, the woman that he loved. So we, we we try and handle a lot of like really topical, um, tricky uh, things uh, and try and handle them as though if somebody who was really into that could still watch this movie. Mm-hmm. So also somebody could watch one of your movies without the sex scenes and it would still it would speak to them. It would. Yeah. I mean, I, in, in a perfect world, that's, that's, I don't, any, any director who, who really uh, prides himself in features. I think that's, that's the end result is if you can watch this movie minus the sex and it still be interesting mm-hmm. on the budget that you're doing it for. Mm-hmm. Do you ever have trouble weaving the sex scenes into the narrative? I have a pretty good, good strategy as that. And like, I have like a, a page. I try and get X number of pages in between sex scenes and try and not make them go too much longer than that mm-hmm. uh, between sex because after all, that is what we're selling. Right. Um, but yeah, sometimes that's definitely the, the tricky thing. I, I basically, once I have my, uh, you know, your your generic movie idea and then you start talking about, okay, who are the characters and then which one of those characters will have sex and then from there, start weaving the story in between those those sexual encounters between your, your main characters. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.